But yeah. that's 2H. Missy really likes the character, so he's gonna stick yeah. with it. He's been using like 3DS Man Knight, like he was using Man Knight from the start. So. Oh yeah, and definitely very solid Man Knight. I believe number 20 now currently yeah, on the uh, SoCal PR. So congrats to him getting on that PR. Really solid stuff. So you gotta, you gotta get some really solid wins. And you gotta not get really bad losses to get mm -hmm. on that SoCal PR. I don't know if uh, there's like a time too, like way back when Renaya was going to SoCal locals where S2H and Renaya like a super super tight like last hit game. I think it was game three. Might have been the up the game five uh, situation upper bracket, but right, right. That was actually very close. So that just goes to show, even if he dropped that, he's a very capable man at play. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, another thing too. Game X is not a fan. Oh, you, oh, okay, okay. He is a fan. Oh, okay. He's like, I can't handle this too much. I will eat that entire bag. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that hurricane mix too it's, strong. It's so good. But uh, yeah, S2H in particular, when it comes to this matchup, is actually really good at edge guarding Fox. So, All right, right. So let's talk to the people here. Right. Um, you know, you're talking about edge guards. So is that probably what Meta Knight wants in the matchup? Right. He wants yes. to be solid edge guards. The neutral can be very difficult for Meta Knight. Yes. Fox, in my opinion, has one of the strongest neutrals in the game, and he just can get so much out of like his very strong neutral tools, like up tilt, dash, dash. Yeah, so basically, Man Knight, kind of a linear like, neutral character, so when he tries to... Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, <laughs> okay. we're back. We're okay. Back. When Almost he tries to get his out. offense started from dash tag, it's very easy for Fox to just call that out and then whip punish it, and then, you know, just get tons of damage with his combos. Oh, Switch. forward air. Wow. That's all it takes, man. And so I just I feel like you have to like midway through that combo you can't just keep DAing out because no. the Nair or the Four is just gonna obviously kill you off the side there. But um, I mean maybe Candy didn't know about that. Yeah. Didn't know that was true. It's 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 rough because if you don't know that you're supposed to not DI out, you'll die earlier. But then if you start to DI in, that means man that gets more damage. Right, right. With up airs. It's uh really, really like good to deal with when you're fighting fast forwards like Fox. I uh, definitely appreciate that from S2H, knowing how to optimize his combos for the character he's playing. But, Candy definitely playing the character that can easily make a comeback versus Man Knight. Just, all it takes is just the right type of a whiff punish. Oh, oh, oh man, man, right from the forward smash and jab there. And yeah, it, Meta Knight does have like five jumps, but since his air mobility is so bad, uh, Fox can really push juggle situations. And we're going to see most of the time S2H just try to reset juggles, he's not going to really try to come down with aerials or come down mm -hmm. with the air dodge. Most of the time, Midnight's will just go to the ledge, and that's not a great That one lead. time he air dodged, he immediately just got up there for it. Yeah. Definitely just the uh, magic can play there. But catch that air dodge, so it seems to the side. Goes to try to catch out with the... Wow. This is why you told me. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That sucks. <sighs> okay. All right, so, I mean, we are talking about this actually last night. Yeah. The uh, second hit of Shuttle Loop not connecting there. S2H had the setup, and he essentially, I mean, and there are three different variants of the Shuttle Loop. I don't know if he did the outward Shuttle Loop. Maybe that would have connected. But, yeah, sometimes the opponent will fall out of the yeah. second hit, and that's where Meta Knight can get inconsistent in terms yeah. of, like, setting up into the, the Shuttle Loop. You have to really weigh risk-reward in that situation with S2H. I kind of expected him not to try to cast it with up B because if he missed, he would die off stage. Mm -hmm. Instead, just wait for an air dodge and go for an air or just like try to get a turn on back air. He actually had a lot of safer things he could do to get that stock without just trying to take his own with the up B. Like, that, gamble it all like that. Yeah. So I actually feel like S2H is the one that threw that one out, threw that one away completely. And oh, yeah. uh, Kane's going to take that. And, uh, like, why not? Like, thank you for the free dub. So far, I mean, Kenny actually not being able to land too much damage here. Very favorable position for Ooh. Yeah, there it is. The, the Fox rush. Killer. I love it. So good to catch uh, Fox up into the stage. Uh, it's Not only is it very difficult to tech, if you get to the startup of it, when this against the startup of Fox's up B, it, it does a bit of a semi spike. Right. So they actually won't be able to like recover. Like that multi hit spike. Right, right, right. Exactly. Very so, similar to like Fox Fair Spike, the Luigi Plus. Exactly. So really good Fox uh, specific edge guard there coming from S2H. Again, showing his experience in this matchup. Um, and sometimes if the Foxes are just so close to the stage, they'll get untechable anyway. So. Exactly, exactly. It, it's just such a great way. And like you're going back to the ledge too, so you'll even if they tech, you'll still be at the ledge. And S2H can cast all the damage there. Just for this ledge trap here. But Fox gets back on stage. And he's doing a really good job. 
I think Kenny, or he's a very patient box player, but I feel like his patience is working against him versus S2H because S2H is actually a very patient man I player, mm -hmm. and he I feel like Kenny has to press his advantage a little bit harder when he does get like an up tilt or an up air. He needs to force man into the air because again he has very poor uh, air mobility when dealing with uh, Fox. Yeah, you can definitely push. Meta Knight really, really hard. Like I said, just force him to the ledge or just force him into these very uncomfortable. Ooh. Wow, still able to get that up smash there. Saw it kind of hitting below the ledge. Really good and fast conversion coming out from Candy. And it's Twitch really not trying to let any tower come back having really early up B. Oh, wow. Candy okay, trying to just go for the, <laughs> the immediate answer. That's really trying to get the down air there. If you hit the down air on the Firefox uh, and they're far away enough and they don't have the double jump, it's a definite kill. I'm surprised he didn't go for the side again. Let's get that show loop though, and it's just getting really rough for Candy again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Another stage fight. And that oh, can be so. tricky too, because some people will like, they see themselves getting hit, so they're gonna tech like in the beginning of maybe like hit one or hit two of the back air, and then back air hit three hits, then it launches, then you'd have to tech. Yeah, so exactly. The timing's kind of like obscured, and it's scary too, because most people, it, it's just hard, because you don't know if you're getting hit by like neutral air or back air. Like, yeah. you just see yourself getting hit, so it, it's it's probably possible to tell the difference between the two, but very difficult, of course. Exactly, exactly. So, um, most of the situation stocks coming from really just solid edge guards uh, against Fox. So, I want to see if Candy's going to try to mix up the way he's recovering, or just even try to take as best as possible. But Candy going to take Game Three to Lilac Cruz. Mm. Pretty big gamble, I want to say. I actually think Man, I this is one of Man I really really good stages uh he gets to trap people on the platforms kind of a small stage so it's hard for them to run away from dash attack and he doesn't have to really worry about the lilac or yeah the lilac tilt because he has six jumps in so many different ways to recover if then i get lilac like dang <laughs> yeah, it's, i don't know what happened there but fox on the other hand outside of uh, the stage kind of henry recovery he can play incredibly aggressive and you know get a lot of platform pressure as well from his juggles so if he's able to do that, I can definitely make uh, see him taking his game from SWH, but already. Oh man, SWH. I mean, right there, he went for the upbeat, but he knew he could make it back, so yeah. he's very mindful there. And I mean, it does. this stage does give Fox different platforms to kind of side B to, and since that middle platform is low, he can kind of shoot for that middle one. Oh! oh. What a He didn't out. shoot for the middle one. Yeah, he, I felt like, he tr like the height he shot it at, I feel like he wanted to go onto a platform, but he just didn't quite have the distance there. S2H already kind of positioning himself with that forward smash to cover the side B like. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. So we said it. We said Man Knight should never like like fail to recover on this stage, but it, it just happened. S2H literally used like, I want to say five of his jumps just to jump off stage. And then. <laughs> Yeah, didn't All make right. it. So I mean yeah. that's that's unfortunate. I he had a really good lead and he set up that force match really well here, but a breath of life for Candy here. Yeah, I mean we already seen Candy when he's able to get that uh that freebie, he's take, pushing it pretty hard. So we'll see if that S or S D from S to H leads to him dropping this. I'm loving the movement from Candy, utilizing his platforms. And that's one great thing about Fox with this platform pressure. You can even just move on the platforms really quick. Uh oh. Oh, doesn't get the first uh Bear on the up B and actually gives Kenny a pretty solid ledge trap. Yeah, that was a huge string right there. The double up tilt into the back here. So much damage from this with Candy. And I feel like now, Candy's probably not going to be typing into any forward smash. Or he just jumps right into it. Uh, dang. I mean, to be fair, I was right. Yeah. He didn't side B into it. He didn't. So, ha. <laughs> ha. I don't know. We've seen a, we've seen a lot. Of